we're going to investigate the acidic and basic properties of a number of solutions of ionic compounds. Many ions are the conjugate acid or the conjugate base of weak acids or weak bases. They themselves act as weak acids and bases. We're going to add a number of ionic solutions to universal indicator to measure the approximate pH of the solution and use that to tell us if the solution is acting as a weak acid or weak base. We will then write hydrolysis reactions for the individual ions that are involved in the process. We will use a color chart of universal indicator. The color chart has been made up by adding solutions of different pHs to universal indicator. The color range from red at the acidic end to purple at the basic end. We're going to put a couple of drops of universal indicator in several wells. We'll keep the first well as a reference well. I'm going to add some water, distilled water, to a well. We can see that the solution has not changed very much. It has a pH of 7. We'll add 0.1 molar sodium chloride. The pH is 7. We'll add 0.1 molar barium nitrate. The pH is 7. We'll add 0.1 molar magnesium chloride. The solution has a pH of between 5 and 6. We'll add 0.1 molar silver nitrate. The solution has a pH of about 5. We'll add potassium nitrate. The, the pH is 7. We'll add 0.1 molar sodium hydrogen carbonate. The pH is 8. We've placed drops of universal indicator in the wells again. We're going to add 0.1 molar sodium carbonate. The pH is about 11. We're going to add 0.1 molar sodium phosphate. The pH is between 11 and 12. We're going to add sodium hydrogen phosphate. The pH is about 8. We're going to add sodium dihydrogen phosphate. The pH is about 4. We're going to add zinc chloride. The pH is between 4 and 5. We're going to add 0.1 molar aluminum chloride. The pH is about 3. We're going to add 0.1 molar aluminum sulfate. The pH is about 3. We're going to add 0.1 molar iron 3 nitrate. The pH is about 2. We've placed universal indicator in several of the wells. We're going to add 0.1 molar ammonium chloride. The pH is about 5. We're going to add 0.1 molar ammonium sulfate. The pH is about 5. We're going to add 0.1 molar ammonium monohydrogen phosphate.
the pH is about 8. We're going to add 0.1 molar sodium acetate. The pH is 7. We're going to add 0.1 molar ammonium carbonate. The pH is about 8. We're going to add sodium acetate. The pH is about 7.5. We're going to add sodium hydrogen sulfate. The pH is about 2. We're going to add sodium sulfate. The pH is 7. We've added a universal indicator to several of the wells on the plate. We're going to add 0.1 molar copper sulfate to the well. The pH is between 3 and 4. We're going to add 0.1 molar HCl. The pH is 1. We're going to add 0.1 molar acetic acid. The pH is about 3. We're going to add 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide. pH is about 13. We're going to add 0.1 molar sodium fluoride. The pH is about 